Hi, this is Anna, and this is Check It at the Round Table, where we discuss movies, books, music, and stuff. Today we are discussing Tan Han Chan Lati, episode 6. This episode is one where Chan Lati is back at school, and Tan Han has decided he wants Chan Lati to come back and live at their house with him and I and I and Miriam. Kind of an interesting household. But anyway... And Chan Lati does come back. Um, Ping kind of talks Tan Han into talking to him and Chan Lati into talking to Tan Han. And he does come back. Tan Han still is being a rather egocentric, homophobic person, even though he says he's not. And Miriam decides that Chan Lati is going to stay with her because she doesn't want to bother Tan Han. Really, she's doing it, and so are I and I, because they just want to drive Chan Han a little crazy and help him realize who he truly likes. <laughs> and so, anyway, the episode progresses. Chan Lati ends up having a kid from school who is very well off pretend to be his orphan, and he really is actually flirting with him because he's like, well, I really do like Chan Lati, and if I flirt with him and I win, then I get Chan Lati. If I don't, then Chan Lati gets maybe Tan Han, who he's always wanted. So either way, it's a win. And he's really just kind of that kind of kid. So anyway, Chan Lati has to go home to take care of the house while his mom is away for a couple of days. And I forgot to turn off notifications. And as he's getting ready to go, the other kid offers to go with him. They're not going to be having an inappropriate romantic thing. They're just going to go spend time at his mom's house. Tan Han does not like this idea at all. He is very upset and indignant. And so Miriam decides that she is going to preside over a table court over this with I, Nai, Tan Han, Chan Lati, the fake boyfriend of Chan Lati and herself, and determines that, yes, Chan Lati must be a good son and go take care of his mom's house. And yes, they are all going with them. That way Tan Han can't be so upset about it. And so they all head to the house to spend time at Chan Lati's house with I, Nai, Miriam, and the fake boyfriend friend, and Tan Han. Tan Han gets very upset at dinner because he wants Chan Lati to peel the shrimp for him, and Chan Lati does this without fussing, although I'm going, you know, you're 21 years old, peel your own shrimp. I'm sorry. I don't know. Some things just are beyond my comprehension, and they always will be. But anyway, Chan Lati peels the shrimp, and then this other kid peels the shrimp for Chan Lati and really makes Tan Han mad. And Tan Han takes Chan Lati out from the table and walks him over so they can have a discussion about this. And I like how Chan Lati is developing in this episode because he is not the gullible, naive kid that he was when he first started out in the series. He's like, Tan Han, why do you have a problem with this? You know, you shouldn't be jealous of me because, number one, we're not in a relationship. Number two, you don't like people like me. And number three, this is ridiculous. And he said, unless there's more going on here than you want to admit. And Tan Han's like, no, 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 I'm just upset because you shouldn't be taking shrimp from that guy. And Tan Han's going, well, or Chan Lati's going, well, you took shrimp from me, so why can't I take shrimp from him? I mean, is there a law against who gets whose shrimp? I mean, I'm not trying to better him. Chan Lati's kind of egging him on a little bit. And I do like as Chan Lati is developing, he gets a little bit more of his own oomph. Whereas before, he was kind of this very naive, very um, compliant kid. And now he's like, what is the problem? Why are you behaving this way? And I think this is going to get better as the show progresses because I have seen a scene of a later episode, which I'm hoping is next week, where he actually throws water at a woman who is bothering him, who is the ex-girlfriend of Tan Han, who's like, da, 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 and she throws water. He's like, no, you're not throwing water at me. And then he throws his glass at her. And I think the people rejoice, although we all wish it had been something more than water. It's like, that woman maybe desired a barge being thrown at her for what she was capable of. But anyway, moving on. I still do not like this series. I was really having great hopes that this would be a really fun series because it had I and I in it from the Together series, which I have not seen but looks really good. And I have just been pretty much totally disappointed with this. You can hear my 
digression onto why, which is in another episode here with a link to a video that kind of explains further why this ep series sucks compared to the novel that's based off of. But I'm really hoping they pull a rabbit out of their hat. But even if they do, I would like to just point out that we're all supposed to be happy that Tan Han and Chan Lati end up together. And I'm like, okay, so the prize at the end of this story is Chan Lati, who's a really nice person, ends up with a guy who is a total homophobic bigot who slept around with, oh, yeah, I'm not even going there. But I'm just saying... This really doesn't seem like anything but a booby prize, as we say in the Midwest. It's like the kind of prize that you just go, this is not a prize. And, you know, I don't know. I'm hoping that they really make this better. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going, Chan Lati's the kind of person who wouldn't have been happy with anyone but Tan Han because that's who he'd set his heart and mind on since he was a kid, which is rather pathetic when you think about it. Like, you know, you really should have had better goals than Tan Han. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm just left saying, this is one of the worst GMMTVs I have MMTVs I have ever seen. And, you know, I haven't seen a great deal of them, but this just, it's really just, yeah, it kind of sucks. And so I'm really hoping it gets better. But again, I'm just not holding my breath on this deal because it really, yeah, I, I'm left speechless. There are words cannot describe how I feel about this. So with that on and out on my review of Tan Han Chalmati episode six, check it at the round table. Bye.